today i'm challenging myself to build creatorwise.com in just 24 hours a saas app that helps creators go viral on youtube with the power of ai this was honestly so tiring and seriously insane I want to build an app for YouTubers and since I'm kind of like a YouTuber myself I started recognizing a lot of problems that we YouTubers face I've been noting down a bunch of them in the past few days and thought of building an app that could solve these problems so I started off this challenge at 12 a.m. midnight on a Sunday and this was a huge mistake I was tired the whole time but I kept on coding because I was honestly intrigued by the ideas I've thought of implementing and also I had some motivation to complete the app so I was okay before coding the app let's talk about the problems I'm working on and how I'm actually solving them. I think the number one problem that we YouTubers face is getting new ideas. I think every YouTuber can agree to this. We all are really desperate for views. I want to solve this problem, so I researched a bit and found out there's something that I can use. It's OpenAI's GPT-3. GPT-3 is a machine learning model that's just really sick. GPT-3 contains 175 billion parameters, so I know I can bet on using this. They recently announced a beta to the public so anyone can try it out. Perfect. The next thing I want to implement is a feature to improve titles. A creator can have a bunch of keywords for a video title but he might not know how to exactly frame it. So I also thought of implementing this with GPT-3 in some way or the other. I'm going to talk about the last feature later in the video so stick around till the end to find out about it. I also have a few other ideas planned but I'll build them later when we actually have a couple of paid users on the app. Let's go back and actually start building this app now. So I spent the first hour actually writing down things to do and the features to implement. I also started setting up and coding this project. I'm using Node.js to build this app by the way. I designed a bunch of web pages which I basically ripped off from my previous project sessionfix.com. You can watch the video about how I built sessionfix.com in the description below. R1 was honestly the most productive hour of the whole day. I actually spent the next hour doing authentication for the sign up and login pages and also implemented a small email verification system. I added a sign in with Google account button too as I think it's helpful for a few people. Now since most of the setup and authentication is done, I started working on building the actual app. I spent hours 3 and 4 building the idea generator for YouTubers. So the web app I basically designed just allows the users to paste in their YouTube channel URL and then it used the YouTube API to get the 30 most popular videos from their channel. And then we basically send the data to GPT-3 and hope that it generates similar ideas which are good. It took me a bit of time to actually figure out how to use GPT-3 as it's in beta right now. I spent a lot of time fine tuning the application and I wasn't getting the results I wanted. Some of the results were so random and unrelated. I was so tired, so I took a nap so I can have more energy when I wake up. I slept for almost 6 hours and woke up to build the app again. I started back at the 13th hour and had 11 hours left. Now that I look back into all of these issues that I had with GPT-3, it was totally my fault. I didn't know how to use GPT-3 properly at all. I then talked to a bunch of my friends and actually understood how I'm actually supposed to use it. Although I started getting some actual results, they were decent and not as good as I initially thought when I started building it. I'll work on improving the model later. I also completed the title improver part of the app in the same hour. A user can input a title or a few keywords in the text box and then GPT-3 will generate a few title ideas and can also give improvements. This was actually kinda better than the video idea generator so I was proud. The title improver and the video idea generator are finally working, kinda. Okay, now let's just end the suspense and talk about the third feature I'm going to implement. The third feature is just adding MyNule to CreateOS.com. If you guys don't know what MyNule is, it's basically a SaaS app that I built in just 3 hours. I made a video about it too so you can watch that in the description if I added it I guess. MyNule basically allows you to preview your thumbnails and titles on the YouTube homepage before you even upload. So I spent the 14th hour basically just integrating MyNule into CreateOS. It didn't take much time as I just had to copy paste a few files of code. I spent the rest of the 14th and 15th hour trying to improve the model. The first improvement I made was to just add a retry button for generating more ideas. Kunal from my Discord server actually gave me this idea so a huge shout out to him. Do join the Discord server. It's a really cool place to hang out. Link in the description. Also, I just wanted to say that the support at the moment has been really great. 
it would mean the world to me if you can subscribe like share and comment and do all the stuff for the algorithm shameless plugs aside i also learned about fine tuning the gpt3 model for getting better predictions for fine tuning the app you actually need to input a bunch of youtubers videos for training so i put in a few of them like mr beast linus tech tips and a bunch of other creators I got the fine tuned model from OpenAI but I just couldn't get it to work with Node.js. I spent so much time trying to figure it out and I just couldn't. There weren't any results on Google too. So I knew I was stuck. Anyway, I wanted to deal with this at the end so I just wrote a few messages to the OpenAI support and moved on. At this point, I just had 5 hours left. I completed building the nav bar and the settings page so I moved on to setting up the payment gateway. And wait, I didn't talk about the pricing model, right? Right now, I just want to see if anyone wants to actually pay for for creator wise so i kept the pricing model for around 10 dollars no monthly subscriptions or anything you just pay once and you get it forever i'm calling this the early members plan there's also going to be a 3 day free trial for every user i'm just doing it as i want the users to actually try out the app for themselves i want creator wise to be international so i'm using stripe as the payment gateway for the app i literally had no problem integrating stripe into the app it just was really simple a huge props to the stripe dev team you guys are awesome the one thing that drove me insane was that you had to create separate pages for payments one for international and the other one was just for india i successfully implemented the payment system into the app and now actually started building the dashboard i wanted the dashboard to be simple and minimal so i just built three different horizontal cards for the three different features available right now the cards have a picture and a few details about how the feature works i thought this was simple enough for now i now started figuring out how to actually make this free trial thing work i googled a bunch and then finally figured out a solution using an npm package i then implemented it pretty easily and it works just fine now a user can only use a feature after he pays if his 3 day pre trial expires most of the web app is basically done i think i had an hour left so i just made a few final touches and the app is completed this was honestly so tiring so i went to sleep and woke up the next day to see that i got an email from the team at open ai saying that i literally had to change a single line of code for it to work so i changed the code i first wanted to make the web app live in the 24 hours itself but it's simply out of my hand because of a few requirements from open ai i built a really simple landing and a pricing page and then used my digital ocean vps to host creatorwise and hopefully by the time you guys are watching the website is live at creatorwise.com go check it out so yeah that's how i successfully built creatorwise.com in a day kind of creatorwise is my main app now so the next videos are probably going to be about how i launched and talk to users expect more devlogs soon also if you want to support my videos financially a really good way is to just join my patreon i don't make any money from youtube right now and with patreon you get access to some really awesome stuff i'd highly recommend it link in the description i want to give a huge shout out to the people on my discord server i got a lot of feedback while building creatorwise and yeah i'm really thankful to them also a huge shout out to the team at OpenAI. You should go check out GPT-3. It's really awesome. Now you can watch this video about how I started my old app, sessionfix.com on the screen right here. Thank you for watching and for supporting me always.